hello and happy Friday to you guys um, so it's been gosh it's been two weeks since my precious granddaughter has been born and uh, today I'm on babysitting duty and so many of you have asked can we see her so I have her here here is Mackenzie she's sound asleep but I'm trying to get her into the camera. So yeah, you can tell she is just like baby, baby newborn. So big brother is sound asleep for his little nap time. And this little girlie's um, sleeping pretty good for her nap time. And so I thought, oh, let's bring her on here. Oh my goodness. She's kind of squirming around, but still sound asleep. So um, I think she'll sleep through the live, but I have her car seat right here as close as I can to me so I can keep an eye on her. So hi, Kelly. Hi, Sharon. Thanks for joining in. Yes, Lisa, here she is. I'm going to give her one last peek. Boop. There she is. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, she's squirming, so I don't want her to squirm away. <laughs> I don't want to put her down either to make the video. So here we go. Yeah, maybe at the end I'll um, I'll bring her back in again in case uh, uh, people are joining in later or something too. So oh, big yawn. Okay, so because of being grandma today, I thought I'm going to make a really quick and easy card because... Um, we all know as parents, you never know what your kids are going to do at what time. Um, and so I thought, well, if I do something quick and easy, I know I can still get my card in for today. And so um, uh, for Mackenzie being a girl, I decided for Carrie's second card of her three card series for her um, for her party, I'm going to do something bright and pink and everything. So that'll be fun. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Marie. Hi, Lillian. And hi, Joyce. So I'm just going to make sure that um, that I'm here live and showing up so that when I um, switch my camera around then um, then I can catch your comments and questions and I see I'm on there and let me grab my card okay so like I said we showed the pink the little girl and so here's the card so lots of pink and um, it's using the set Ridiculously Amazing. Hi Beth. And so, um, like I said, I loved this card. If you've been following my business page here, I like, not the card, the stamp set so much that I decided um, right from the get-go to order two of them right away. So one was gonna be for me to keep, and then the other was for my giveaway, and I just mailed that out, uh, was it today or yesterday? So um, that's been fun to um, gift somebody with that. Um, every once in a while, I just decide to do some something fun with it, and so um, that was a fun set to give away. And in deciding what I give away, is sometimes um, I love to give away big bundles, but then I think, okay, what if they don't have a big shot or some kind of die cutting machine? And then um, the punches are always fun and such, but I thought if I give away a stamp set, anybody can use a stamp set. You don't have to have any special tools or anything. So that's why I chose this one. And today I am gonna kind of gussy it up with some die cuts and things like that and add some embellishments to it to make it fun. But um, otherwise there's really not a lot to it. So um, like I said, Mackenzie here is snoozing away. And so I'm gonna get started with the card. I'm gonna flip my camera around so that I can get going with that. So. I'm gonna adjust my tripod here like so and can put it right down there maybe even up a little bit so it's not too close oops to lock it in place but I want to make sure you can get a good view of my workstation there hi Faith thanks for joining in okay so here's a better view of my card here so make today ridiculously awesome and I just love how bright it is and not often with all my sons do I get to make um, cards for this type of bright pink occasion and such and then this is also the stamp set with lots of nice um, sentiments on it there too so I'm looking forward to I already have ideas for a couple of the other sentiments and how I want to make cards up with those too so if you like following along and seeing where I have this um, it's on page 90 in the catalog so um, 
that's featured there. And often when I'm looking at this, I get sidetracked because I think I kind of want this bundle too. Um, nothing better than, and it talks about cookies, coffee, cocktails, and chocolate. And so I'm thinking that I really want um, that one too. So today, that was my distraction working with that. So <laughs> hi, Chris and Kelly. Yes, it is very bright. Um, and Shirley, thanks for joining in. So um, I wanted something bright and I hadn't done anything yet with the new magenta madness color so bright bright very like almost pepto-bismol but deeper pink so that's very bright and bumblebee I think when bumblebee was first coming out I was thinking that bumblebee was going to be more of you know thinking bees and honey more of a dark yellow but there's actually um, a nice brightness to this so the two paired together go really really well and I was kind of surprised by that hi Amy and Amy <laughs> two Amy's just joined in so um, I think the hardest part about getting started with my card was trying to um, figure out which designer series paper to use not which set of designer series paper but which out of the set so on page 11 if you like to follow along page 11 has this great grouping of the flowers for any season or for every season six by six pad of papers and so there are a lot in here a lot of different color choices and combinations, but a lot with that pink, and I knew I needed to do pink and bring in some yellow. Thought about that one, and if you know me at all, I you know I love stripes and polka dots, whoops, and um, people's peonies are blooming, so there's a lot that kind of look like that too, and just some nice um, blues too. So down the road, you'll probably see me bringing in some blues and different things too. And just know that the back side too has lots of the bumblebee with that new just jade color too. So you hardly even know it's the same pack when you um, turn it over. And then I can't wait to sneak in this uh, cinnamon cider color too. So yes, Amy Bank, um, yes, the cocktail set, I, that has been a favorite for a couple people. They've been saying that whole um, bundle there. So, okay, so that's where things are found in there. And then once again, once I narrow down what I'm going to choose for paper, then I look on the back side to see um, what sort of uh, colors to use, and then they list the colors, so that makes it nice and easy for me to be able to um, pick out which colors are going to coordinate really well with that too. Hi Shannon, thanks for joining in. Okay, so for my base, I have cut this kind of the long way because like I said, whenever I have cards, I know I'm going to open up this way. I want to make sure that um, that they don't get floppy. So if a card were to open up this way, sometimes it wants to go like that. So um, knowing it went this way, I um, have it so that it folds that way. So, um, so that's why I decided to make today's card kind of cut the long way. It still fits in the same envelope the same way because it is the same measurement so five and a half by four and a quarter hi missy thanks for joining in okay so um what i'm going to do is i had these are very similar in size i want to make sure that i have it cut the right way okay so this is where i'm going to stamp and because she's snoozing pretty good next to me, I think I'm gonna show you my tip right away so I don't forget. So this is my brand new um, Magenta Madness and I love passing along tips or tricks um, whenever I can. So on the back side um, here, I'm going to take my Take Your Pick tool and it says Marvelous Magenta. So I'm just going to take this sticker off and when I have my ink stored at my workstation, it's going to be facing me like so. So I'm going to put that sticker on, whoops. I don't want it to overlap so when it closes, it catches because then it's gonna just end up probably wanting to come off. I'm trying to look at the camera to make sure it's in the um, viewfinder good, plus put it on. Okay, so that's one of the stickers. And then let me peel off this one next which is just the plane. Here we go. Like I said, I'm trying to watch the camera to make sure you can see what I'm doing plus do what I'm doing. Okay, so this one is just plain pink here. And I'm gonna open this up. And then there's this little lip here right in the beginning of the tray. 
So I'm going to take that sticker and just kind of coast that along right on the inside there. So this is so important when I'm um, stamping and using multiple ink pads or when I'm doing events with you guys and I have ink pads that are setting out that might look similar in color when they're open um, because I think ink pads will always look a different color when they're open. And then on the back, I choose the next best um, color that looks kind of close to English even though it's gonna be a different language. And I just kind of put that on the back so if some reason um, I see my ink pads um, from that angle. I'll have that color on there plus a name that's similar. Um, so that just goes on the back. So then with the rest of them here, I don't use it. So I just take this um, sticker here and I just peel off those layers and I end up putting those in the trash just because um, I don't want any extra bulk sitting when I stack them and such because they stack really nice with those tiny little feet on the bottom. Okay, so that's my tip or trick of the day. Yes, thanks Lillian. Sometimes it's things like that that I don't um, always talk about and it's easy to talk about it when it's a brand new ink pad because then I can show you as I, as I do it too. Hi Laura, hi Joy, thanks for joining in. Okay, so today's a pretty large stamp and I've kind of cut around the edges so that if I um, rock or get too much ink around those extra spots, um, then they come out on my project and I don't like that. So I've already taken my scissors and trimmed it down a little bit. So it says make today ridiculously awesome. So I'm going to ink that up and stamp it right kind of in the middle lower section of my white cardstock there. Isn't that a fun bright pink color? First I wasn't sure if it'd be too overbearing hot pink, but I really, really like it. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside and I wanna show you the two sets of dies that I decided to pull in. Thanks, Missy. Okay, so the two dies that I'm pulling in for this today is um, my standard um, uh, one that I've been using a ton of, the stitched, Stitch So Sweetly dies. And you'll see this nice assortment here of different dies. And then um, the one that I'm going to use just has a nice scalloped edge. And then the other set of dies that I showed for the very first time yesterday is the, here we go, um, cause it's brand new and everything's moving. <laughs> I have to make sure I have the right name. Okay, this is the Tasteful Labels dies. And so I've been having fun looking at all my options with these just fun little framey looking ones. And so I'm going to use this big, nice frame for today's project, yes. And the two go together, I think, really well. So it's gonna be fun seeing how that all works. So, um, for layering my cards, I have, like I said, my base here, and I have some white, and then I trimmed down um, a three inch by, uh, let's see, three inch by five and a quarter piece of the striped paper. And the reason I did three is so, um, with it being six by six, then I could get two, for sure, two pieces out of each um, sheet of paper. And then this is going to be three and a half by five and a quarter. So it'll be the same here, but a little bit wider on the top and the bottom. So hi Kay, hi Barb, hi Carolyn. And so then next, my little paper saving tip that I like to show you. Um, sometimes it's easier. Oh, Paige, you're watching. Mackenzie's right next to me sleeping away and Weston's sleeping too, in case you're wondering how I can do a live while watching your children. <laughs> They're being great. Okay, so my paper saving tip is sometimes I come up with this card and I'll tape this to this and I'll put it on here. And then when I make my second card, I'll go, you know what? I can cut my die cut right out of here and then put this over. This is going to be put on my card. Nobody knows I've taken that die cut out of there, which is great because um, it saves a little bit of bulk while going through the postal system, which we're all trying to reduce the bulk and trying to make our cards look plumped up, but yet skinny at the same time. So I'm just going to show you this and I'm going to run that through and I wanna make sure it's as um, close to very middle as possible so that it um, 
doesn't show that I've cut it out when I go to layer it. So we just have that, and that pops right out. And then I'm going to take this on my magnetic one. This is gonna be a tight fit. So if you have these things or get these things and go, okay, was Bell's really that tight of a fit? Uh, let's see. There we go. So you can see it might even just trim off a little bit there and get really tight there and such. But here, let me just crank that down a little bit because we can get all of the make today and the awesome in. I'm trying to angle it for you to see and make sure it's straight. Okay, so I'm going to put that through my big shot like so. And so we have that and that pops right out like so. So that's going to be a nice tight fit, but it actually in a way looks like it's meant to be for that. Okay, so now is just kind of the fun assembly part of it. So I'm going to take this fun striped paper and even here it was like, Oh, do I want to uh, use this side? Because that means like I'm not gonna be able to use that side, which is really pretty too. So I'm just going to put some adhesive along here, like so. And then that is going to be put, and here's where I like to get out my trimmer. I'm going to take this and just butt it up against the edge of my trimmer lip there because this is going to be even with that. And then I know it's going to be perfectly even like so. So nobody knows that we've cut out this little piece here to make the die. So that's where that goes because all they're going to see is this here. And then next I'm going to just take some more of the snail adhesive, run that along these edges like so. And I'm going to center that on my card like so. Kind of easier sometimes to line things up when the stripes are all nice like that. Um, and then before I put this on top of there, I want to add just a smidge of that new bumblebee color. Yes, Missy, isn't this happy colors? Like I said, um, maybe having a granddaughter now makes me want to do some fun, more bright colors than my blues and such. Okay, so the star um, is a nice little um, added benefit in the stamp set. So this is a nice little sunburst that you can put. I might use that with my sunshine or um, it's a nice little spark to put there. I'm using the star here and there's a nice little heart there too. So I like it when there's extra little embellishments that you can kind of do. So I'm going to ink it up with my bumblebee and then just going to stamp it kind of over part of awesome. And then without re-inking, I'm going to stamp it kind of above there. So you can see I have the full strength and then the lighter. Um, and then I'm going to ink it up, stamp off and go lighter, ink up, stamp off and go lighter. So I have this like so. So it just kind of adds to um, bringing those colors together and just make it look a little bit more fantastic. So then I'm going to take my snail and just tape down this die here like so, center that. And then this is the piece that I'm going to pop up with some dimensionals. So I'm going to do about four dimensionals because it's a pretty big die here. My friend Nancy would probably put six to 10 because she likes putting dimensionals on her projects. <laughs> Hi, Julie, your um, virtual party's coming up soon, so I'll have to schedule those dates too. I'm excited to get ideas for you. Thanks for joining today. Okay, so this one I'm just going to center right there like so. So that kind of pops with the little added dimensionals like that. And then for the inside, I'm just going to take just some more of those stars and full strength and lighter like so and that's all i'm going to do for the inside of my card make today ridiculously awesome could be a birthday card it could be some kind of special occasion card so 
Um, the people that will be getting these cards that are ordering through Carrie's virtual party, um, that gives them the option to kind of play around with however they want to send their card off for whatever occasion. So that could be the end of the card here, but you guys know me, I love to add a little bit of bling or embellishment. So today I have the Playing With Patterns Resin Dots. I've been using the 2020 through 2022 um, enamel glitter dots love them but right now they are unorderable because they are sold out so um these what i do is just slit yeah you can see i've already slit the top here and so there's that lip that i don't like that adhesive um, that might catch on something so i just open up that slit and then i can just pull out the whole card and so today i'm going with that bumblebee color the other colors are uh the uh Posy color and the new just jade color so there's just three on here and one two three four five different sizes and I'm just going to add a couple which if you know me at all I always say do things in odd numbers but it just didn't um, pan out the way I wanted it to and I was trying to arrange to put like three on so I like how just putting a bigger one in that corner and then one up here. I like how that turned out. Oh good, Carrie, you're able to join. I'm glad you like the card because it's for your party and Tori is watching too, yay. Okay, this is just over a little bit. There we go, I'm able to pluck that and recenter it. Okay, so this is Carrie's card, all done. So today was quick and easy um, and like I said, here she is snoozing away. There's Mackenzie, I'll pick her up too. Maybe I should let her sleep because she's snoozing so good. But okay, let me flip this around. Okay, so yes, yeah, so I wanted a quick and easy card today because knowing I was gonna be grandma, there we go. Okay, knowing I was gonna be grandma, um, I wanted to be sure that I had um, a quick and easy card because you never know what grandkids are going to do and if they're gonna stay sleeping or, or not. So um, so yes, yeah, so I thought if I do something quick and easy, that might work. I'm gonna pick up Mackenzie again. So um, today was card, oh yep, there's, there's great Aunt Sherry, oh boy not happy okay so um so today's card number two for carrie's virtual party and um then if you order 25 dollars minimum using her code then you get all three cards that i'm making for her virtual party for free and she is going to be um closing that up her goal is monday so if there's something that you want let me know or just order online using her code and then you get it that way and her last and third card will be shown here on monday probably in the afternoon again so um, my next thing i'm going to do is just upload the card quick and snuggle with this girly until she wakes up and then i'll snuggle some more so have a great weekend guys thanks for joining in